Hey, yeah, you. Do you want to know the one thing you never want to hear your RDCs tell you? Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you. Hey guys, what up? It's your boy AA Ron joining you in a fresh, new, comfy sweatshirt hoodie thing with ridiculously big ropes. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you the one thing you never want to hear your RDCs tell you or say to you. There are a lot of things. We will cover a number of them. But we are ultimately going to cover the one thing you do not want to hear. RDCs. Peculiar creatures. <laughs> um, there's going to be a number of things they're going to tell you guys. And a lot of them are actually connected. But one version of them stands out the most, even though they all mean the same thing. You're going to hear things like black line. Now, black line not necessarily isn't bad. It's most definitely not good for the most part. But when they tell you black line, you better get to that black line. And nine times out of ten, you're bringing your hydration tool. <laughs> so, that's one of them. You never really want to hear them tell you black line. It's ultimately not good because you're going to get that work. Now, the ones I'm going to be talking about in this video are primarily going to be the ones where you're going to be getting that work. But, nevertheless, they don't all mean the same thing. Let's go on to the next one. Now, we'll go over one that you don't normally get a whooping for. But it's still not necessarily good to hear this word. And it generally comes from a chief <laughs> so when a chief says when a chief says hey you recruit hey come here shipmate <laughs> that's generally not a good thing when when a chief calls you a shipmate it's generally not a good thing i've been shipmated before this is not a good feeling you feel like a total piece of crap like it, it's it's not good but nine times out of ten hey come here shipmate it's more of like, hey, let's have a quick talk, and it just be very, very one-sided with you just saying, "I chief." So that's generally how that goes. But if you hear, "Hey, come here, shipmate," or just shipmate in general, all right, you're you're probably you're probably the ghost is probably clear. You're probably gonna get yelled at, but but to be honest, you ain't gonna get that work. It ain't it ain't nothing like a black line now. Shipmate is also a good thing. It's not it's not also a, a bad thing. So you can be shipmated, but it it can still be a good thing. Generally, generally people only call you a shipmate. It's not something good. Other than that, they generally just call you recruit, but yeah. Next. Now, this next one you're probably going to hear a lot more from your peers. Once your peers learn what this is. <laughs> but I, I honestly don't know where this one comes from. It, it's just, we were just told about it. So once we were told about it, we all knew who they were. And this next one is the Blue Falcon. Generally, people associate whoever has the position as MA in the division as the Blue Falcon. Because the Blue Falcon essentially is a... I'm not going to say the actual term. Uh... We'll keep it PG. A blue falcon is basically someone that screws other people over. You're going to be screwing people over, essentially. Or, you know, like a, a snitch, if you will. Like a snitch. There you go. Um, but, yeah. So, sometimes you'll hear it from an RDC. So that's generally not a good thing. But you're probably not going to get beat for it. But it's, it's more of like a lesson that they're trying to teach you. Like, hey, we don't have to handle all of your problems for you guys. You guys can be adults and handle a lot of your own problems inside the division. So they want you to handle things in-house before it has to go up to the chain of command. You know, like, everything should go up to your AROC, then your ARPOC, and then so on and so forth. Or your Yeoman. There's other avenues. They have a specific chain of command you can follow that's inside of your division. Not your actual chain of command, but it's still technically your actual chain of command because they, they want you to follow it. Now, my advice 
take care of your shipmates, take care of each other, and you'll never be a Blue Falcon. Now this next one, you can definitely expect there to be a little motion in the ocean if you catch my drift. If you hear your RDCs ever tell you to hydrate. Now, when you were told to hydrate, it's 100%, you're probably getting beat. I'm going to say like 98% because RDCs play pranks and stuff sometimes too. You know, RDCs like to have fun. They're people just like us, you know, just a lot angrier. No, I'm just kidding. They're there to do a job and train the future of the world's greatest Navy. But there's a time and a place where you can have fun. You know, I've seen a prank or two. Someone was late for like RDC instruction time and then they're like, Hey, why are you late to my class? Uh, well, I, I was a medical petty officer that held me. I, I, there's nothing like, uh-huh, uh-huh, hydrate. And they got scared. They got scared. They're sitting there, grabbing their bottle, <laughs> water splashing all over them. And then she's like, get attention. So they get attention. She's like, man, just relax. I'm just kidding. Why are you so uptight? And he's like, and we're all like, <laughs> <laughs> but if you were told to hydrate you can expect there to be a very very good chance you gonna get that work now we've reached that part in the video as to where here it is the one thing you do not want to hear your RDCs say to you really quick just understand Black line, hydrate, a lot of these things mean exactly the same thing. But it's, it's like the difference between eating something from one place and eating the same thing from another place, right? It hits differently, if you know what I'm talking about. So if you're told to hydrate, it means the same thing as black line. But it also has a completely different setting, like in tone and meaning as well. Even though they mean the exact same thing, they don't mean the same thing at all. So, black line, hydrate, and then there's this, stand by. Generally, there are some more colorful words thrown in there, but generally it is stand by. Listen, I have been st stand by before, or I've been put on stand by, there you go. I have been put on standby. I have seen people put on standby. Listen, guys, you do not want to be put on standby because it's more of like, you hear standby, but it's more of like, oh, don't worry, I got you. And trust me, you don't want them to get you. You don't want that at all. So do not be that one. Do, do not, be, and you're going to hear it. The division's going to get it. You're all going to be on the tow line. Chief's going to come in kicking tables, throwing chairs, you know, it's gonna happen. <laughs> like, it's gonna happen. <sighs> and as soon as they say those magical words, stand by. Nothing. Nothing is gonna hit the same as, because you're gonna hear black line, you're gonna hear hydrate, you're gonna hear them yelling these things, and then you're gonna hear them tell somebody to stand by, and then you're gonna see what the difference is in between these. And you're going to know, yes, they mean the same thing, but they come with a completely different atmosphere. So the one thing you definitely don't want to hear an RDC tell you to do is stand by. And a setting, in a setting where they're upset at you for messing up or doing something stupid or whatever nonsense. Because stand by also isn't a bad thing. Hey, uh, Chief, permission to ask a question. What's up, shipmate? Chief, uh, my third RDC told us to do this. And then the left, you know, you relieve them. But we don't really have the tools to do this. All right, stand by. Not necessarily a bad thing. At one place, it means I'm about to mess you up. <laughs> and at completely other places, all right, give me a second. I'll help you out. So just understand, terminology, there's, there's nothing like it. It can mean several things, guys. It can mean several things. But... Generally, when when these are meant in like, I don't want to say the negative way, but like the not so good for you kind of way, listen, you're going to get that work. You don't want that work. I've had the work. I fear the work.
But that's it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys liked the video. I enjoyed doing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It was fun doing something new, a little bit refreshing. I know I've done some skits. I've done some reaction videos. I'm trying to mix it up. Uh, I might be doing a vlog here pretty soon. I would like to get a selfie stick so I could just take you all outside with me and whatnot. Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm trying to get some other recording equipment still. But, uh, yeah. But that's pretty much it for the video. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video... Do me a huge favor, drop a huge like for the video, also leave a comment, I love hearing from you guys, I love talking to you guys. Also follow me on my social media if you have not already, the links to those are in the description below, so go follow me on all the little wacky adventures I have and ask me some questions, I'm always there to answer any questions you guys got, and talk to you in chat, whatever. Uh, and if you guys are new to the channel, do me a huge favor, go check out some of the other awesome and helpful content I put up there for you guys to help train you and prepare you for Navy Boot Camp, A School, the Fleet. And we also do some fun stuff here as well. So I put out military content to help you guys get prepared for boot camp and whatnot and not have any surprises be thrown your way. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I thought this would be a little fun video to do. So we did it. So that's it. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you all later, shipmates.